We recently had the chance to drive the outgoing Nissan Kicks, a compact town car that's both enjoyable and unexpectedly fun to take through winding roads. Now, the all-new 2025 Nissan Kicks has started arriving in dealerships, offering a larger size, a bold new design, a more powerful yet efficient engine, and, for the first time, an all-wheel drive option. Nissan has clearly taken feedback from customers and critics, tailoring this next-gen Kicks specifically for the American market. In addition to updated technology and a fresh look, Nissan has promised that the new Kicks remains fun to drive. With that in mind, we couldn't pass up the opportunity to test drive it on the scenic highways and curvy backroads around Santa Barbara, California. Here's our take on the revamped Kicks. A bold new design. The second-generation Kicks embraces a fresh design philosophy. Not only did Nissan lean into the name Kicks, which is slang for sneakers in the US, but they also drew inspiration from the structure of a football helmet, offering protection on the outside while remaining comfortable on the inside. This clever marketing approach should resonate with younger buyers. The new exterior reflects this shift, with a wider stance and a more muscular, defined presence. The 2025 Kicks comes in three trims, S, SV, and SR. We had the chance to test the top-tier SR trim, which includes the premium package. This adds extra features like heated seats, a moonroof, a Bose Personal Plus 10-speaker audio system, and an additional airbag. Even with all these upgrades, our model stayed under the $30,000 mark, excluding the $1,390 destination fee. Stepping inside. The first thing you'll notice in the new Nissan Kicks is the introduction of Nissan's zero-gravity seat technology, which guarantees a comfortable ride. The interior feels more spacious, with noticeable increases in shoulder room and rear legroom compared to previous models. While some dimensions have been trimmed down slightly, the smart interior design makes the cabin feel open and roomy. In the back seat, there's plenty of space, even for a six-footer, without knees pressing into the front seat, even with a taller driver up front. One key difference for the 2025 Kicks is in the cargo area, especially between the all-wheel drive, AWD, and front-wheel drive, FWD models. AWD versions lose some cargo capacity, offering 23.9 cubic feet behind the second row compared to the 30 cubic feet in FWD models. With the seats folded down, AWD models provide just over 50 cubic feet, while FWD versions offer between 58.5 and 60 cubic feet, depending on the trim level. Materials, interior trim, and features. The SR trim gives the kicks a more premium feel, thanks to thoughtful design touches like the soft-touch carbon fiber effect material used throughout the cabin. Nissan emphasizes that even the base S trim isn't stripped down, but to get features like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and a 12.3-inch touchscreen, you'll need to upgrade to the SV trim. Considering the Kicks is marketed to younger buyers, we think these features should be standard across all trims, including the base model. If you opt for the SV or SR trims, both come standard with wireless CarPlay, Android Auto, and a wireless charging pad. Our SR tester featured dual 12.3-inch displays, one serving as the driver's display. While the screens were clear and responsive, we found it odd that a lot of space was left empty, and some basic settings required navigating through multiple menus. It's a minor issue that Nissan could likely fix with a software update, but the interface could use a little reorganization for better ease of use. Peeking under the hood. The 1.6-liter engine in the outgoing model is gone, and replaced throughout the range with a 2.0-liter unit. It makes a shrug-worthy 141 horsepower and 140 pound-feet of torque over the older model's meager 122 horsepower and 114 pound-feet. The bottom line here is that the car is bigger and heavier, so the upgrade isn't a big bump in the real world, but it's fine for the price point and par for the cost-effective compact crossover segment. The line following the bottom line of this paragraph is that the lack of power is a disconnect from the new squatter and more muscular stance. It feels like a car that should have a smaller but turbocharged engine or a hybrid with a small electric motor filling the torque to give it more pep. Attached to the new engine is a new continuously variable transmission, CVT. According to Nissan, it provides better acceleration while maintaining fuel efficiency with a greater ratio coverage and quicker shifting. As it's a CVT and doesn't have mechanically shifting gears, the shifts are programmed and it feels like a traditional transmission. It's a nice, smooth transmission that works well with the engine, and the overall combination delivers satisfying EPA. On the road, still good fun. Don't get us wrong, the previous generation lacked power, but was still fun to drive. 
The good news is that, despite its new heft, the 2025 Nissan Kicks is also fun. It may not be quite as nimble, but that's the trade-off at this more affordable price point when the vehicle grows in size. Something we didn't expect from seeing the 2025 Kicks at the reveal is the driving position and view. Not only is the driving position a blend between feeling like you're in a sedan and an SUV, proper crossover style, but the view out front with the hood reminds us of an older sports car, as in, you can see it and the way the hood bulges at the sides. It is a little hard to judge how much room you have when space is tight for parking, but when using the 360-degree cameras, we always had a few more inches than we thought. The ride quality is just as pleasant as the outgoing kicks, if not a bit better. There's a nice lack of road noise in the cabin, so you can enjoy the Bose sound system with the extra speakers in the headrest. This writer bashes Bose a lot, but in this case, there's some praise to share. The speakers in the headrests are not a gimmick. They seem to smooth out the treble in the kicks and add some mids, which are usually lacking in a Bose system. So if you don't mind, or actively want, somewhat boomy bass, then it's a nice upgrade if you play with the equalizer settings. Conclusion Feels like a different crossover. It has been a while since we drove the 2024 Nissan Kicks, but we walked away from the 2025's first drive feeling like this is a new car altogether. Perhaps without the trick all-wheel drive system, it will feel more like the outgoing model, but we doubt it will be the same. It's heftier, roomier, a nicer place to be on the inside, and has useful cargo space. It's still nimble and easy to fit in a parking space, but will be a much better vehicle to live with and comes with things like blind spot monitoring as standard. It also has the optional and unobtrusive Pro Pilot Assist on the SR trim. This pricing compares well to rivals like the Mazda CX-30 that start at nearly $25,000 and surpass $37,000 in the highest trim. The near dash dollar 25,000 starting price also applies to the 2025 Kia Seltos, which makes the Nissan kicks a bargain. As a dollar to value package, we're looking forward to spending a full week with the 2025 Nissan kicks in the near future. 2025 Nissan kicks performance. The 2025 Nissan Kicks brings a more capable and refined driving experience compared to its predecessor. It now comes with an upgraded engine, delivering enhanced power, 